Legitimate to Stray Gods Act 3 game was released on the 10th of August 2023. It's a musical visual novel where we're playing Grace, who is trying to prove her innocence after uh, a muse got killed. And um, this has the secret ending uh, or choir also to it. So don't forget to like, do subscribe, and leave a comment. Enjoy Stray Gods Act 3. This was my fight, my problem. I'm already slated to die. If anyone... ...and paid the price. Your friend gave you the chance to not repeat history. Don't waste it. Grace, is that how Calliope died? Was she also attacked by the Furies? Do you remember? Yeah. She meant to use the mirror, but she never had the chance before... ...before they came. Uh, no doubt sent by the same person. Perhaps for the same reason. Who could send the Furies after me? Even Hecate had no idea who possessed that kind of power. No one does, not these days. Hecate herself would have been my guess. Zeus might have, in his role as King of Old Olympus, but he is long gone. Clearly someone can do it. Unless they weren't summoned. They could have been responding to something you did unwittingly, something Calliope also did. And what that could be? I'm afraid I have no clue. I know Calliope was there to use the mirror, but it was just feeling. I don't... I still don't understand why. There's only one use for that mirror. To speak to the Fates. Yeah, okay, but why? The Fates know all that is or will be. Destiny is theirs to command. Or so it's said. One contacts them either to know one's fate, or to change it. Not that the Fates are likely to oblige. If the Furies are so powerful, why did they stop? They just... Stabbed Freddy and left. They're not assassins, Grace. They exist to punish. They demanded blood and blood was taken. It didn't need to be yours. So if Freddy hadn't interfered... They wouldn't have rested, not ever, until they had their due. I don't know what to do. We still have no idea why Calliope wanted to talk to the Fates. Well, there is another way to ask them. I wondered how long that would take. Hecate is enraged. She's threatened to close off the reliquary entirely and forever. Athena is beside herself. How long have you been standing there? Long enough. You just had to keep pushing, didn't you? Until you got what you wanted. This isn't about me. We're out of options, Apollo. And you know there's only one other way to contact the Fates. Oh, how convenient. Wait, what? what's this about some other way? What are you talking about, Persephone? May I explain it to Grace, or do you have another option, Apollo? If so, now's the time. I thought not. The Fates will respond to the ruler of Hades, the true underworld and realm of the dead. What I propose is that we go there and take back the throne that was stripped from me. Is Apollo right? Is this something you planned all along, Persephone? Meaning what? What, that I knew what would occur at the reliquary? Perhaps you think I'm the one who unleashed the Furies upon you. You've waited for this opportunity for over a century. Waited, yes. Bided my time. And the moment has arrived. But that's not why you originally agreed to help me? No, that's not why. Is that something we can do? Just go to the land of the dead and... Uh overthrow it? Truth be told, there isn't much to overthrow. Few mortals still believe in Hades, and thus its halls have been nearly empty for eons. So how do you... The throne itself is the key, both symbolically and literally. 
claim it, and Hades is yours. But you can't claim it because you're barred from Hades. By a rule that we would need to break were we to do this, yes. How do we get to Hades? Do we need a key, like the reliquary? Athena took my key, and the entrance at Lake Avernus was sealed long ago, which leaves only Hermes. They won't take you. They might, if you ask them to. Then why did you come, Apollo? To gloat? To wish Grace well? Or to actually help? Get us there. I'll lead us to the throne, and Grace can speak with the Fates. It's simple. So if we go to Hades and, uh, find your throne, how much trouble would that get us into, exactly? A great deal. It's not as if Athena could execute Grace a second time. But she's already been warned about breaking more rules. The responsibility of this will be mine. Let Athena try to take my throne again. Is there really no other way to talk to these fates? Do we have to take the nuclear option? Do you want to try going back to the reliquary? No. No. Hell no. The only other person with a direct connection to the fates is Apollo here. You know it doesn't work like that. Then it's the throne or nothing, isn't it? Well, it's another crazy plan, right? Grace. I know, I know, but... There's no point in stopping now, is there? I can't. I'm sorry, but this is a step too far. And consider this, Apollo. Grace's mortal friend was slain by the Furies. According to the old laws, her soul is in Hades. Wait, what? Freddy's in Hades? What? Persephone, why didn't you lead with that? I didn't want it to seem like I was playing on your sympathy, Grace. But you'll play on mine. Fine. I'll get you into Hades. But I'm not going with you. If that's what you prefer, by all means. It's fine, Hermes. Get this over with. Shall I wait here, or...? No, no. I'm not gonna lie to them. Hermes has always treated me fairly. Oh, hey! If it isn't Apollo and Grace, and, um... Persephone. Wow, uh, the whole gang, huh? I'm afraid I have to call in that favor. I need you to take Grace and Persephone to Hades. Oh, man, I don't know. Athena specifically said I wasn't supposed to take anyone, you know? No matter what. Oh, this is pointless. They're never gonna help us, Apollo. Can I ask what's going on? Nobody ever tells me anything, and you want me to get in huge trouble, but for what? Freddy's dead, Hermes. What? When did that happen? She was killed by the Furies. That means she's in Hades. Probably. I have to try to find her there. You're her friend too. I, I know you wouldn't want to abandon her. Okay. Signal when you need to come back. You sure? Yeah, feels like the right thing. Be careful, Grace. And remember, the Underworld doesn't give up its shades without a price. I think I can tell her the rules, Apollo. Let's go. Welcome to the real Underworld. So empty. So lonely. It's not completely empty. Neither is the throne, for that matter. 
bitter shade named Orpheus has been squatting on it since my exile. I fully expect he'll be waiting for us. Who is this Orpheus? The name sounds familiar. It should. His is a popular tale among mortals, regarding how he once came to the Underworld to retrieve his love, Eurydice, and left with nothing. <sighs> Hades tricked him, you see. And with Hades dead, the blame has evidently fallen to me. So he's not a fan of yours? <laughs> he is not a fan, no. Not that it matters. You didn't think to mention earlier that the throne was occupied? Because it's irrelevant. Orpheus isn't an idol. He's just an angry little man clinging to an existence that doesn't want him any longer. And what are we supposed to do? Organize an armed resistance? Challenge him to a duel? That's what you're here for. I'm gonna fight him? <laughs> oh, you'll see. so there's an angry ghost sitting on your throne. Anything else about this trip you've neglected to mention? Come. It's time to cross the sticks. The ferryman will come soon. As we are not dead, you will need to convince him you are worthy of passage. State your case clearly and with determination. I am Persephone, also known as Despoina and Core Sotiera, once queen of the underworld, and shall be again. No, Caron, I did not bring you any cards. I am not here to entertain you. Hey there! I'm Grace, uh, idol, and last of the muses. Is that enough? Of course she's a muse. Why would she lie about such a thing? Ah, <sighs> he says he's always liked the muses, and that you're very pretty. No, no, she didn't. Neither of us brought games to play with you, Caron. Stop asking. Oh, I'm sure we can come up with something to amuse him. See? You don't even need to interpret that for me. Yes, what fun. Thank you for encouraging him. Let's get underway, Caron. It's a long ride to the throne room. I wouldn't touch that Way too much for you Overload you Blow a fuse Every story Every memory Winds up here Follow the anger, tears in my eyes, then suddenly I was found alone, I destroyed Hades. 
needs her queen. Uh, we're here for Freddy, too. I killed the king fair and square. They had no right to take it from me. It wasn't your fault. There was no right or wrong. It wasn't your fault. You didn't belong. If my life was stolen, I wouldn't know where to turn. Candle isn't finished. It's a slow I think we all know what to do To the throne room This bard's about to meet a muse There's someone singing with us That would be Orpheus Is he a muse? Oh, he's so much more than that Someone's coming. We might have a problem A wolf is waiting in the tomb This bard's already Someone's dead coming. But you can defeat him I can feel them howling at the With moon my help Don't forget where we came here There's a name here I won't forget That reeks of But you of can bet he knows someone's, someone's coming. coming It's about time, Persephone Orpheus, I've been... What happened to the music? been waiting for you, Persephone, for so long. And you brought a muse. Hi. Lovely tune, by the way. Can't remember the last time I collaborated with someone so talented. No offense, Benny. Hey. Welcome to my underworld. Let me treat you to a song. A welcome gift. I have the floor. It is mine, after all. Muse, any requests, questions? My friend is dead. Can you help me? Mm. Mm -hmm. Loop. Mm -hmm. The river keeps secrets deep in the water. How far do you sink till you're buried below? I challenged the fates and found my Eurydice But you had to kill her and I won't let it go You're asking the wrong person It wasn't your fault, how are you to react? It wasn't your fault, now there's no turning back if my love was taken, I wouldn't know where to turn Your candle isn't finished, it's a slow burn But this time the ten is over, if he's the victim, what am I? Queen, let's not lose our composure, the muse understands Well, I won't comply, I'd rather die The throne was stolen after I murdered the king, you should be grateful And thank me for everything And yet you scream Like a boy, you kick the ground I was a slave Eurydice is gone because you did nothing Orpheus, there was nothing I could do I saw your whispers Poison behind your king It wasn't me If I cannot have my revenge you're the next best thing! Orpheus, instead of a life of despair, Hades would have ended you there. This place would still be humming. Oh, I rather doubt that. It doesn't make it any less true. Am I? Am I the one on trial now? It isn't your fault, Hades broke you both down. It isn't your fault, this is a literal ghost town. You're forgetting Freddy, I just want her return Candle isn't finished, it's a slow burn It's a slow burn, it's a slow burn You both exist Imagined the living 
place Be everything you dreamed of You both deserve more You must let it go You both deserve more Than this stupid throne You're right. Yet, what about the throne? We can't just leave it empty, can we? All that going around in circles, digging up old wounds, and for what? So you can fight over a chair. There. What gives you the right to interfere in this manner? That throne was not yours to break. Look around you, Persephone. Hades is empty. That chair you wanted so badly? <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore. It mattered to me. I paid for that throne with tears and blood, Grace. With years of humiliation you know nothing about. I thought we could help each other, but no, no, you would rather lecture me. So what's your plan now, Grace? I assume you must have one after that big demonstration. My plan? It's exactly the same as it was before. You've lost me. Come on, Persephone. Do you expect me to believe you haven't been waiting for this since you met me? You wanted to do this, but you couldn't. You needed to convince me, to convince Apollo, to convince Hermes to help you. And for that, you'd say anything, right? You'd tell us there was a way to contact the fates. Which there never was. You're correct. And Freddy? If the throne alone could bring somebody back from the dead, surely even Orpheus would have figured it out. I should have realized it sooner. Before we ever came here. I guess neither of us is as smart as we think we are. And neither of us will get what we want today. As opposed to your original plan, where that would have only been me. At the very least, I had hoped we might find your friend's spirit. Why? We can't bring her back. Not without great sacrifice, no. No, the rules of death are clear. Yet, you might have spoken to her. I... I know what it's like not to get the chance to say goodbye. I've actually been watching you since you arrived. It's not like there's much else going on. <laughs> Fred, I... No, no. Don't even start, Grace. I made my decision. I don't regret it one bit. You shouldn't even have been there. I never should have gotten you involved. Hey, no. You didn't get me involved. I got myself involved. And look what happened. I got to be the hero of the story. Just for one shiny moment, how cool is that? <laughs> this isn't a story, Fred. <laughs> You're wrong. It is a story. And you need to finish it. Without me. I guess this is it, huh? Almost. I found someone while I was down here. 
Someone you really need to meet. Be real. Your soul is inside Grace. Idols My don't. Is inside Grace. The rest of me. I'm here, Persephone. And this is real. I uh, guess you two were better acquainted than you said, huh, Persephone? We parted ways years ago. Persephone couldn't take my lectures any longer. I take them now. I miss them. No, you don't. Think about how bitterly we argued at the end. Don't blame yourself. Not when there are so many fond memories to cherish instead. We need to know what happened to you, Calliope. How did you die? Why didn't you come to me? If you were in trouble, I would have protected you. I know you would have. But I couldn't let you be drawn into Apollo's prophecy as well. Apollo's prophecy? He didn't tell you? No. I don't suppose he could have. It's a long story. You don't mean to say that Apollo is responsible for your death, right? But his prophecy is. Yes. It said I needed to die. Someone else knew about the prophecy. Athena. No. Then she sent the Furies after me when I went to the reliquary. I barely escaped. I fled back to the mortal world. To you. Why did you go to the reliquary? We know about the mirror, but... You wanted to annul the prophecy. And the fates are the only ones who could. If they would even help me. I doubted it, but I was desperate. I never got the chance to ask. Someone told Athena where I was going, and... She must have realized what I meant to do. But uh, how did she get the Furies to attack you? They aren't pets. You didn't break any of the old laws. I don't know. Maybe it's something the ruler of the idols can do. But you'd have to ask Athena. Apollo hates using his power. Why would he have given a prophecy to Athena? Because she demanded it. She was desperate. How did you even find out? Apollo was horrified after he delivered the prophecy, and he refused to stay silent. And he came to warn me. He was torn. Telling me meant I was locked into it. I still think he did the right thing. Though I expect he disagrees. You went to Pan for the key to the reliquary, right? Yes. He's the reason I knew about Nyx's mirror, actually. He told me about it... long ago. He told Medusa where you went. She, I expect, told Athena. Oh. Pan couldn't have known what it would mean. I didn't explain. That's it. You forgive him, just like that. I'm sure he feels... guilty enough, my love. What was the prophecy? Surely, I need to hear it. If I tell you, you'll be locked into it just like me. But the prophecy doesn't just say you have to die. There's more to it, right? They always require interpretation. Apollo told Athena that. He begged her not to jump to conclusions, but maybe she was right. It doesn't just involve you, does it? It involves me. It must, or you wouldn't hesitate. Athena wanted to know if there was a way to save the idols. The answer was this. 
The idols cannot continue so long as the last muse lives. And I'm the last muse. And now you know the prophecy. Why come to me? Of all the places you could have run to, why come to my apartment? Because I was dying. But I couldn't save you. I barely even knew you. I was wandering the streets that night, wondering if I should go to the reliquary or just flee. And I heard you singing. I followed you home after to see where you lived. I didn't know what would happen to me, but I thought, just in case, I knew I had to hold out until I reached you. I don't blame you, in case you're wondering. You don't? You didn't ask for all this to happen. You did the best you could, Calliope. Thank you for saying that, Grace. Truly. That's it then. Now we know the whole truth. We need to confront Athena. Apollo, too, for not telling us what she'd done. If he had, Grace would have been locked into the same fate as Calliope. We... we... we don't know that. It isn't fair, Freddy. This isn't how it's supposed to go. So many years of history Fights the highs, the miseries I'm so proud of you But it's time to go Be 
from the dead. Of course I did. <sighs> did you get a chance to speak to the fates? No. Then what happened? We know what happened. We know about the prophecy, and Athena. Oh. That's all you have to say? Oh? You knew. You knew the truth this entire time. Even when you said you were helping Grace. Yes. Yes, I did. You were trying to protect me, right? You didn't want me to share Calliope's fate? I thought I could nudge you in the right direction. Help you find the truth without learning about the prophecy. Well, you failed. We know it now. Well, then it's done. You're locked into it, as is Freddy. Athena will want her dead, too. You're right. I... <sighs> I actually hadn't considered that part. I'm so sorry, Grace. I never meant for this to happen. That's right. Leave. It's what you're best at. I don't know how this will affect your trial. We could tell them what we've learned. Even without proof, it makes enough sense that Athena couldn't just brush it off. You're not the last muse any longer, after all, your Freddy isn't on trial. Yet if Athena believes you both need to die in order to save the idols, she'll find a way. Look, about what happened in Hades. Which part? The part where you denied me the throne, or the part where I lied to you so I could use you? You did what you had to do, and I won't say I didn't have it coming. It's freeing, in a way. I intend to keep my promise. We go to the trial and I'll help you, even if it means overthrowing Athena. Calliope would approve. But what about... Just so you understand, our chances aren't good. I suggest you do whatever necessary to prepare. Pan, are you here? Pan! All right then, guess I'll just head off. I thought you didn't want to see me anymore. You're not here to yell at me, are you? No, I, uh, wanted to apologize. Apologize? To me? Well... For thinking you might be behind Calliope's murder. Turns out that's not the case. Oh, <laughs> then you've learned something, haven't you? Something not exactly pleasant. 
I see. Isn't that always the way? Tell you what, Grace. Let's indulge in one last transaction. Relay what you've learned, and I'll see if I've any advice to offer. Okay, where do I begin? Well, of course it was Athena. Wait, you knew? No! How could I? Hmm. So what now? Let the prophecy play out. Huh? Let it play out. It doesn't say the last muse will die. Just that she must for the idols to continue. Perhaps the idols shouldn't continue. Seems reasonable enough. I doubt Athena would agree. Or many of the other idols, for that matter. Yes, well, if history says anything about the idols, it's that we're a bunch of reactionaries who make poor decisions. Frankly, change is long overdue. Continuing on as we have been isn't appealing, and I doubt I'm the only one who thinks so. I'm rather looking forward to the trial now. <laughs> How exciting. Did you forget something, Grace? It felt like we hadn't quite finished our conversation. It seemed pretty finished to me. What more is there to discuss? We could talk about what happened in Hades. We were kind of interrupted by... Freddy, and then... everything. What else could we have said, Grace? Yelled at each other more, perhaps? If it'd help, yeah. Oh, I keep replaying what happened. How could I have allowed you to betray me? How did I not see it coming? I've allowed my feelings to cloud my vision. And that needs to end. I did what needed doing. I figured you, of anyone, would be impressed by that. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, really. It's not me you're angry at anyhow, is it? <sighs> Annoyingly, you're right. But I'm the one I should be angry at. I drove Calliope away. I wasted all that time being stubborn. And now she's gone. That's why you pulled away from me, isn't it? At the club. You look at me... and see her. Even after Hades. It's not that simple, Grace. So what is it, then? Tell me. I... I don't know if I can do this. Us. That doesn't sound like the Persephone I know. She's never backed down from a challenge. I keep wondering, do I like you because of you? Or because Calliope is a part of you? As you gain her memories, will you become more and more like her? Will you think of me as she did? You deserve more than that, Grace. I wouldn't blame you if you wanted no part of it. Uh, 
And what if I still want this? Us? What then? Uh, I'd say you were a glutton for punishment. Do you regret it? Surrendering your Eidolon? <sighs> Giving it up was... the hardest thing in the world. But this was too important, no matter how difficult. I wonder if I could have done as much, or anyone. You do realize you may have brought your friend back, only to doom her to a quick death. Yeah, I... I guess that's true. You gave her your new life. And you get to walk away as if nothing ever happened. Only if we survive. And I would never walk away from a friend. It's you. Paul comes in, mopier than his usual mopey self, and won't say a word about why. But of course, it's you. Look, I know you care about Apollo. I'm not here to hurt him. Uh-huh, yeah. And, uh, why should I believe you? Because I know he did what he did with the best of intentions. That... That does sound like him, yeah. I... I guess I can go ask him if he wants to talk to you. Don't be surprised if he says no, though. It's all right, Oracle. I think Grace and I need a moment alone, if you please. <laughs> oh, sure. Don't mind me. It's not like I was in the middle of anything. I didn't mean for it to end up this way. So you've said. I'm more worried about you, actually. Worried about me? After all you've been through? I gave up a lot to bring Freddy back. I don't like losing friends. When I first became Apollo, I was so sure I could help people. Help the world. I ignored the warnings. You have no idea how many lives I run before I stopped. I never should have given in to Athena. This one time, I thought that maybe, maybe it will be different. You don't know everything, Apollo. Half the problem is that you and every other idol thinks they do. What do you mean? Trying to prevent the prophecy is what's making it come true. So you want to, what, stop trying? Maybe. I hope you can forgive me, Grace. I hope that one day, we'll be as close friends as you were with Calliope. I guess all that remains is the trial. Whatever happens, Grace, I'll be standing right there by you. Thank you.
Freddy, can we talk? Freddy, please. Whatever I did, I need to make it right. Talk to me. Freddy, are you okay? No. No, I'm, I'm really not. Why did you do it, Grace? You brought me back. You made me the muse. Man, what's giving up immortality for your best friend in the entire universe? It, no, I'm serious. And I'm not. Freddy, I'd do anything for you. Just like you'd do anything for me. Grace, I told you that I was at peace with my decision. I've watched the struggles you've had as the muse, and now you've thrown them all on me. You didn't even ask. You don't wish you were still dead, do you? Did I screw up? I... I don't know. Hey, 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 it's okay. I'm here to... Tell me what's wrong, Fred. I came back from the dead. And I was, I was actually dead. And I'm not the same now. I, I've changed. And it's not just being the muse. It's I'm different and so are you. And nothing between us can ever be the same again. Of course it'll be the same. Why wouldn't it? Grace, I sacrificed myself because I love you. I am... I'm in love with you. And I have been... for a really long time. Well, that's ironic. What... what... what is? I... uh... feel the same way. I always have. Oh. Well, I thought you and Persephone were... We were. At least, I thought we were. But after Hades, and... If I had known you felt that way... Oh. Why do you think I joined your band? After college, we, we started drifting apart. Why do you think I started the band? All this time. And neither of us said anything. We've got bad timing down to an art. Huh. <laughs> With the trial tomorrow. No kidding. Athena doesn't know about me. Once she does, I'm the last muse. She's gonna want me dead, isn't she? We can still get through this, Fred. Yeah, but even if we do, I'll keep changing. And when I start becoming Calliope, will I... Will I still love you? I... I don't know. said I can't think of any more to fix what's broken so many books I've read and still have been brave on time knowing now knowing how we should have been loving all this time I would
prefer that we were late than never together again. What you don't get. have been brave on time knowing now knowing how we should have been loving all this time only if only if we could just escape to Is it too late? Too So this is it. You're back where you started, with nothing to show for it. Tomorrow we head to the trial. And who knows what'll happen. Like a boat lost at sea With no sails, not a breeze I am drifting in cold waters No star To be seen All my life I have been carried through At the mercy of tides I lay unproved But now I stand or in hand Hoping my choices won't sink me, what can I do? If I'm a boat lost at sea, can I build sails, find a breeze on my own destiny? Okay, here we go. Uh, hello? Oh, Grace, there you are. Everyone is already waiting for you on Olympus. Care to explain how this is supposed to work? I don't exactly have an itinerary. How this works is... You follow us. Welcome to Old Olympus, dear. real place? It's the memory of a real place, which for us is the same thing. Let's
let's begin, shall we? Brothers, sisters, everyone, look around you. We few who remain fled to this new land to escape the war, but we are not out of danger. I waited to tell you until I was certain, and now I am. The idols are dying. It will not be long before even our immortality deserts us. The time for extreme measures has arrived. How do you know it's true? How can you be so certain? Each time we pass on our Eidolon, we become a little less. It is, however, not Solely that. I have had Hecate researching the matter for decades, and her results are conclusive. We are diminishing. I am at this trial to tell you that, as always, I will look out for you. I will save you. Trust in me, Pallas Athena, daughter of Zeus and leader of the Chorus. And I will do anything it takes to keep you all alive. Anything, huh? And who might you be, my dear? Go on, tell her. Hi, everyone! Hi! Uh, for those of you who haven't met me, I'm Freddy. Just came back from the dead. <laughs> and I'm the... I'm the new muse. That's... That's impossible. Do you think us fools? Grace is standing right here, alive and well. Yeah, you see, Grace gave up her Eidolon to bring me back from Hades. Seems that's a thing you can do. <laughs> Don't suppose that changes your plans for the trial at all, does it? The Eidolon was not Grace's to pass on, so... I'm afraid you'll have to share her fate, Freddy. It must be difficult, feeling as if everything is on your shoulders, and yours alone. One moment of weakness and it all falls apart. You've been doing this for so long, you don't even know how to stop, do you? Oh, dear child, why on earth would I stop? Because what you've done is wrong. If it wasn't, then why not come clean? Go on. Tell them about Apollo's prophecy. The idols cannot continue so long as the last muse lives. Isn't that how it goes? It's true. We spoke to Calliope in Hades. She told us how you sent the Furies after her. She... You couldn't have! Yes, she could. Just like she gave up her Eidolon to me. Maybe you even knew that once, but you've forgotten it. Just like all the idols have. You don't know everything, Athena. No, no, no. I do not accept this. You! You, you are lying! 
You're the one who's been lying. Or would you like to explain to the idols how you murdered Calliope based on a vague prophecy? Tell them. Yes, it's me. It's me. Of course, it's me. The one who gets it done. Don't you see? It had to be. You all turn away when I got the fish. Then you cry, hooray, once it's on the dish. That's how we do this. Yes, we. Yes, you and me. I'll always do all these things for you. Quaint little pawn like you Only if I could just lie there And any time I moved I'd tremble a reed or two No, you're all too dear. Everybody. We're keeping everybody, everybody, everybody leaves this place alive. I just meant to say 
say Your great grace And I'm with you Well I'm not with you I'm just You, 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 you know what I mean talking forever we're done yes and so you're in charge now I'm guessing I am though I'll admit the victory seems rather hollow the idols could still be dying if that's so then I'll simply be presiding over our final days Is there some way to fix it? Athena obviously didn't know everything, no matter how wise she was. I don't know. Where would we even begin? Such an effort could prove futile. We might have to accept the possibility that the idols can't be saved. Perhaps what the idols need most is change. I don't know if I have any say in this, but... Have you considered rejoining the real world? 
stop hiding in the shadows, get rid of the chorus and all its rules, and just help each other instead. I'm with Freddy. How much has hiding really helped you? We know what happened the last time mortals found out about us. Uh, maybe I was the only one listening to Grace's song. Surviving is what's been killing you. You... We need to do something new. She's right. I should know better than anyone the futility of doing the same thing over and over again to no result. Is that a yes? Yes. Heavens help me. But yes. I didn't really want this chair anyhow. I agree. Let's do it. I have a few thoughts as to how you could go about revealing yourselves. Oh? You'll need to give any idols who don't agree time to hide, right? That means you can prepare a campaign. Hmm. Something online, maybe. The idols would be stars before you know it. If you're famous enough, there's only so much that can be done to you. That sounds like a good idea. We'll need your help with that, Grace. I didn't say I was going anywhere, right? Well, uh, we have a lot of anxious idols to inform, shall we? If it's okay, can we catch up with you? I'd just like to talk to Grace for a minute. We'll be outside. Make it quick. So, <laughs> well, that was pretty wild, huh? <laughs> you did it. You got through your trial unscathed. <laughs> we did it. We got through the trial together, side by side. <laughs> I didn't have a choice, Grace. Sure you did. Athena didn't know you were the muse. You could have stayed away. And let you go through that alone? Not a chance. I would have been lost without you. I know things were pretty intense before the trial. I still don't know how I feel about us. About everything. And, and I, I understand if... You wanted to get as far away from me and the idols as you could. Especially now that things are about to get weird. You need me. The idols need me. But we'll get by. Probably. What I'm saying is, you don't need to feel obligated. <laughs> I like being needed. Oh, thank God. I was so sure that you were going to leave. I mean, you're free to go now, right? And miss being high priestess to the goddess of late night lattes? Absolutely not. I still need some time to figure us out. Yeah, take all the time you need. We have that now. Okay then. Ready to go out there and face the music? <laughs> Always. <laughs>